Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! Boom! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel where today we're gonna take a look at this thing. Woo! Yeah, the battle pass, but specifically how it's evolved over time. Yeah, it's, uh, it's changed a lot. When it first started, the Battle Pass was something brand new to start off 2020 with. We started in January 2020. Let's talk about the Battle Pass as a whole, because I feel like there's a big sentiment that it's gotten worse. And I feel like the players feel like it is not as valuable as it once was. And I will agree that a lot has changed with it. And that has made it more difficult to really, you know, gauge its value. And even in this one where we've got, you know, so you've got different free and premium where the rewards now are focusing on we've got ships in it. We've got mission keys, officers. It's all over the place. So what it really comes down to, or I think it needs to come down to, is actually tracking what the rewards have been in the past and what they are now. And we'll, of course, have to mention the new event system because the new event system is basically meant to tie in as an addition to or an addendum or really kind of a choose what you're getting situation with the battle pass. And we'll talk about that tie in a little bit later. Real quick, before we get started, I gave a shout out to two people. One, the actual ops team with Star Trek Fleet Command, or the dev team with Star Trek Fleet Command, because they help provide this information. Uh, I asked to partner with them and work on this because I was curious, has it gotten worse? And I got all the raw numbers, both negative and positive improvements. And we're going to talk about that. And then also give a shout out to Stewie Do. For those who don't remember Stewie, he's the one who's helped create and do all the coding behind the officer tool. I had him help me with this tool. What tool you're asking? That one. Bam. See how transition happened? You know, fancy little bings and everything. This right here is the <laughs> comparison for, uh, it's in Klingon. And that was by my request, by the way. Well, technically it wasn't by my request. It's something I wanted uh, Stewie to do for the officer tool, but he stayed different for this. So anyway, this is a comparison of level 24 and level 34 from when the battle pass started and then when the battle pass got an update in October until now, then we'll also look at ticket events towards the end of this. So what is all of this that you're looking at? The first set of things that you're looking at is going to be, in my opinion, the most important set, which is what you get for free, then what you get for the elite. And then there is totals. And then there is right down at the bottom, you'll see the 34. So now we can compare level versus level. And then at the bottom, there's a summary. So right here are all the raw numbers. This is all the raw stuff that you got for everything, for uncommons and resources. Did not include the officers or things like that because I think most people feel like the big bottleneck in the game is the economy. Officers aren't the economy. Tokens for uh, ships aren't the economy. Skins aren't the economy. This is the economy. The uncommons, the rares, the dilithium, the tritanium, the par steel. So that's what we're going to go over. Yes, there are officers in a lot of these battle passes, and we've even gotten a prime in one of these. But this is going to cover all the essentials of what was in the battle pass. So what we're going to do now is actually we're going to have this nice little drop-down menu. And what we can actually do, by the way, and if y'all want access to this file, uh, Stewie and I, we can make it public, and you can see it for yourself and go through the numbers if you like. But we have it sectioned off. You see each milestone tier, we had the dev team give us the numbers for that, and then we plug that in. So we got for each tier, and then down here is the summary. So let's start with level 24. So if you're a level 24 player, here's the difference between now and back then. Keep in mind, we're not including the ticket stuff yet. We'll talk about that in a second. But in general, here are the increases and decreases for level 24. So as a free-to-play player, when it came to total par steel that you got, you saw a 480% increase from, say, January 2021 versus January 2020. Now, for an elite increase, 234%, and then down at total increases for everybody and everything, 299%. Let's go over to what I feel is the more important part, which is the uncommons and the rares. So let's just look at uncommon crystal. You go all the way to the far right, second to last column. That's the uncommon crystal that you get for each, uh, wherever you're at. So whether you're level 24 and you're getting the elite pass, so you're paying 20 bucks or you're just doing the free path. But let's look at the bottom category, level 24 summary down to the right. So the free increase 
the free increase is 125% more uncommon crystal than you were getting a year ago. So they've increased it by more than double. Then in terms of the elite increase, the elite increase was 30%. You can argue that there's less value in terms of the increase for the elite spending that 20 bucks, but you still grew in how much more you were getting. Now that you see the total increase, 55% in total. Then you see the rares, 140% increase. And if you look over at the rare gas, the rare gas got a 200% increase for the free to play players. And I think the big thing that has to be noted here, and y'all know I will gladly call out Scopely and Star Trek Fleet Command when they do something that is not advantageous to most players. Check out the greed video if you have it. But this is a great example of how they focused on helping free to play more than they did spenders. These are actual numbers. These are real percentages. These didn't come out of nowhere. This is exactly what they provided. Now let's look at uh, level 34 summary. So we're going to collapse the 24 and bring out the 34. So now let's look at this one. Look over to your right. Uncommon crystal increase for level 34. Free player, 127% increase. Total 55% when you combine the rare, I'm sorry, the elite pass and the... Um, Crystal Path. Another thing that I want to hit real quick is look at the very first part of this. You see where the negatives are? See, that's the tokens. So one mil parsteel tokens, the elite actually has 20% less now than it did before. However, the key is the total par still has increased 229% from the elite perspective. So they started putting more raw resources into the economy instead of just pure tokens, which is once again something that players ask for because raiding has taken such a big hit. So now to prevent players from just hoarding resources and tokens, they've now been giving out more raw resources. And you'll notice that in some of the events we have going on right now. Once again, we got to call out the bad they do and call out the positive. To me, this is a big positive. Look uh, further down the list. See, the TRIT tokens went down for the elite. So the paying players had 20% less elites, but the free players had 32, 32% more tokens. And then you go over, free players had 500% more steel. The elites had 233% more steel. So everybody got more but they started giving free to play more protected and more raw. And then they just basically gave more raw to the people who spent extra money. So it prevented the spenders, whether they're dolphins or whales from simply being able to hoard extra. Now it's more vulnerable. Now there's more incentive to actually go out and attack those bases. Scroll over to the right. You can see the dilithium changes. Once again, massive. Uh, the free to play got 600% more dilithium. And that might not sound very important, but researches are becoming more and more of a thing with us having five research trees now. So that was a huge increase. And then, of course, you can see the increases for the various uncommons of that nature. So now I'm going to hop into the studio mode real quick because I've got to do a swap. And we're going to bring up this picture right here okay so this is the battle pass ticket event the first time it went through now keep in mind the ticket event is still new and the idea and the premise behind the ticket event from when i talked to uh you know the dev team the first time this came out was that it was a i don't want to say replacement to the battle pass but it was to allow you to have better choices over the rewards that you were getting that's why you see the and and the ors right there now, the battle pass, in terms of how the events are going, this battle pass, I don't like. I don't think it's as even as this one was. This one was a lot more of a, an actual choice. All three could be picked and you could choose. Now it really feels like you get one choice in terms of completability. And I think that's something we need to work on. But this is what, for level 34, you got through the uh, battle pass ticket event. As you can see, a lot of value there. Now, keep in mind... We can compare that to, so if I put this down at the bottom of the screen and we'll pull up our other menu. So if we compare this, remember this is level 34, and then right here, look at the Tritanium levels and the Dilithium levels and these like that, and then compare that to what was in the Battle Pass. So you had what uh, Tritanium for level 34 was getting a total of 56 million. Well, here, a lot higher for level 34 if they're going through the ticket system. So once again, we're seeing an increase. The only issue that we've had with the ticket system has been, has it been advantageous for us to actually use the ticket system? You know, in terms of can we actually go after the Tritanium as a focus and the Parsteel as a focus? Now, this is throughout the entire battle pass. So this is not just a singular event, but this is the total. If you hit all of them, 
throughout the entirety of that first Battle Pass event that we had a couple months ago. So the main point I want to make in this video is to give you raw numbers from the dev team, as well as a beautifully laid out spreadsheet by Stewie Doo, to show you that yes, they have actually improved a tremendous deal the amount of resources and uncommons that you're beginning in the game. Is it enough? Well, no, it's never enough. And that's just a fact. It's never enough because we always have stuff to upgrade. Always got to get better. But has it improved over the past year? Yes. And the sentiment that it hasn't simply doesn't add up. Now, we can definitely argue that some things need to get better. And I will reiterate this at the end of this video. Right now, with the ticket events, there's really only one event worth doing, and that is the Separatist Attack. It's the only one that's really feasible because of the milestone levels for so many players. At least that's the feedback I've gotten from a lot of people. The Complete Research event is ridiculously hard to get through, requires tons of speed-ups and dilithium, and then the Combat Prep, well... Since they remove certain uh, things from feeding into this, you can't really complete anymore. And then it's giving out officer tokens. So they kind of changed the format of how the ticket system was working before. I think they had it right the first time. Now, where you had parsteel, tritanium, and dilithium, now you just have tritanium, which I do think for me is the most important. But still, you got to be able to provide all three. I think the ticket system needs to go back to exactly how it was the first time, just make the milestones more completable. But we wanted to show the premise of this video that they're putting more resources in. And I want to know your thoughts as well. What do you think can make the ticket system and the battle pass better payout-wise? Drop it down below. I will, of course, be passing along this video to the dev team as feedback. Please keep your responses nice and courteous because if you're rude, not only do they not want to hear it, I don't want to hear it. If we want to be... Uh, working to get this game better. We got to be constructive with our criticism. And I am surprised to see some of the numbers that we put out on the screen because I didn't expect it to be like it was. I do think it should still be more, but it was very surprising. And once again, thank you to the dev team for allowing us to go through this project together. Hopefully get some more fun ones in the future. Live long and prosper. Stay safe other Space Cowboys. Drop your comments. We'll see you on the next one. And... Remember, Spock doesn't go on the Enterprise. Live long and prosper. All the best. An even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house.